Hey, this is Richie Dotson, uh, Acoustic Box LLC. I'm going to answer a tutorial question that I get asked a lot. How do you change strings? Um, there are many different answers to this. And the problem is everybody's right. Just ask them. This is the way I do it. Take that uh, however you will. We've got the, got the banjo up here. I've just loosened the strings. I want to change them all at one time. It's just how I do things. Pan up. Uh, once I get the strings loose, clip them all, get them out of my way. Oops. I got the new strings out. For those of you who will ask, these are PF140s. You use whatever you like. There's a nine and a half and a nine and a half in this particular package. If I can undo what I've done here. Um, I start with the first string and then immediately go to the fifth string. Here's the trick to this whole thing. And this is what, what I tend to do. I'm gonna hold my finger down at the nut and at about the third or fourth fret I'm gonna about an inch inch and a quarter off the fingerboard here right um, put it through the eye of the capstan there index finger here third and fourth fingers up pan out so you can see good and then always toward the center now I'm at the first string second string they'll go toward the center third string and fourth string they'll go toward the center the center is over here and the fifth string the center is this way keep that in mind with this much slack taken up pull now you've got tension on both sides go under and now kink it back over so that you got a locking elbow right here then tighten your string up you only need about two winds on this anymore and uh, you're just making more work for yourself later now I'm going to reinstall the bridge in its general location and here I'm going to the fifth string that's another nine and a half in this particular set they wind these a little tighter now that GHS has uh, put inert gas in these little bags so your strings never go bad which I kinda like but they're a little more difficult to wrestle out going to the fifth string now now over here on the fifth string, I align the capstan with the pip. I'm going to run it through, and the same rules apply here. Two things. Keep tension over here. Put your finger right there so it doesn't leave the slot of the nut. I'm about an inch and a quarter off the fingerboard over here. Widen out. In toward the center, under itself, and back over top of itself. That creates that same elbow. I'm going to proceed with two, three, and four, and you can just watch this process. I'll get through it pretty quick, and then I'll show you the other secret to changing strings when I'm done with this. The hole on the capstan is lined up. Let's line them all up now at the same time. Through, pull, keep tension. Got away from me there. Some tail pieces are more aggravating than others. <laughs> well, that's a different video. So, through the eye of the capstan. Tension over here. Index down. Third and fourth fingers up, about an inch and a quarter. Toward the center, under, back over itself, two. Third string. In case you don't know, the strings are one, two, three, four. Not one, two, three, four, and one, two. So this is the fifth, the short guy. He's number five. With this, with this tail piece, and with a lot of tail pieces, I do this. I pull a rounded 90 with my fingers like you're doing a Christmas ribbon or something. Or a Hanukkah ribbon. I really don't care. 
Now, back up here. Now, remember, we're on, we're on the third and fourth strings, so we're on the other side of the peg head. So, now, tension, index, inch and a quarter. Now we go to the center. Remember, the center is over there now. Over itself. I can put my finger down here, but I don't want the string to dig into the headstock. That allows it to wind down from the top to the bottom. Now, onto the fourth, same as the third, same as the fifth for that matter. Now, get these out of here. Sometimes these fourth strings, because they have uh, they are wound. Sometimes um, they need a little help. A pencil will widen that out. And if you need a little L here, depending on your tailpiece, you can put your thumb here, bend that over. That's a big help on some of these tailpieces as well. Through. Fourth string. Through. Fourth strings on the base side. Tension down, inch and a quarter, to the middle, under, back over top of itself, tune. I use these flush cutting end nips. Let's trash these. Now, the second thing that we do, or the next thing that we do with these strings, which is every bit as important as installing the strings. Now I know I removed the tail, the uh, um, bridge. Doesn't matter if I can do that quicker than you, just mark it a pencil or something. Let's see how close my ear is. I'm good. Now, the next step, you've got it tuned up. It's working nice. The next thing you need to do, if you don't do this, strings don't stretch. That's what people call it. They seat at the capstan end and all these little uh, places that they're going in and out of the tailpiece. Grab right here, just in front of the nut. Give it a tug. Don't do this, I'm done. Give it a tug. Don't rip them off, but give them a tug. Now listen. Now you can tune it up and go forth and pick. This is how. I change strings.